everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Six Seventh and Eighth Channel of Bijus. I'm your teacher Ankita, and I welcome you all. Good evening, everyone. How are you all? Welcome to the Six Seventh and Eighth Channel. How are you all, everyone? I hope that your Josh is really very high, and I hope that I'm clearly audible and visible to all of you. Good evening, everyone. How are you all? So good to see that so many of you are already here on the session. Yes, everyone. Today is your favorite favorite day because it's a quiz day, right? So everyone, quickly join the Menti Quiz. You need to go on www. Menti Quiz, and then you have to use the code one five eight nine one four two. Are you ready, everyone? Quickly join the Menti and tell me that you have logged in into the Menti and write your names. In today's quiz, everyone, we will be focusing on very important and super interesting twenty questions. From full syllabus of class seventh biology, yes. I know. I'm a chat. पढ़ती रहती हूँ. क्या करें? कौन समझाए इन बच्चों को? हाँ, कौन समझाए इन बच्चों को? Hello, hello, Nancy. Hello, Purvi, Nitya. Yes, Tanvi. Welcome to the class. Yes, Mano, Jaditya, Nitya, Ritwik. Yes, Pramod. I'm waiting. Yes, Akash. Tanvi is here. Very good, everyone. Very good, very good. Yes, ma'am. Arey, bhai, abhi to class mein abhi se ignore thodi na karenge. Aur ham ignore nahi karte. Yes, Gaurav. Naam le liya. Ab to mat. Ab to mat. Ab to nahi bologe na ki ma'am ignore kar rahe ho. Yes, good evening, everyone. Chaliye. So everyone, please make sure uh, you are there with us, right? You need to go on www.menti.com. I'll wait over here. We have total of twenty questions, right? Total of twenty questions we have in today's quiz. Everyone, quickly go to the www. menti. com. Open a new tab in your system or in your phone, right? Write www. menti. com. They'll be asking you for the code, and the code is one five eight nine one four two. And the link and the code is pinned in the comment section. Also, you can see there's a blue color bar right over here. In that, if you click, you'll be able to get the link and the code. So everyone, quickly join and tell me. And you, yeah, then tell me if I can find you. Paper clip, are very easy. It's there. See, paper clip is here. Yes, paper clip I have over here. Okay, paper clip. Okay, then yes, Neha. Hello, word is yours. Yes, Shorya, Nitya, Wolf. I can find the wolf. Yes, it's over here, buddy. Blue me. Here we have the wolf. Penguin is also here. See, penguin is there in the purple ball. Here. Yes, wolf, goat, 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 goat. I can see the goat. Where is the goat? Oh, it is difficult to find the goat. Everyone. Yes, here's the goat. Yellow ball me. Alien, alien, alien is over here. Yeah, the alien is over here in a pink, chotu sa grey color ball. Donut, 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 donut. Mm, where is the donut? We oh, can I see? Can I see? Can I see? There's a donut, 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 donut. There's a burger. I can see. Huh? I got the donut. Chotu sa yar here. Okay, but wait. Tell me, everyone. All of you have joined or not? Quickly, everyone. Tell me. I hope that all of you have joined the mentee quiz. Give me a quick thumbs up. We can play this game throughout. एक घंटा भी यही कर सकते हैं, but we don't have that much time, right? In one hour, we have to finish twenty questions. So I hope that all of you are ready. चलिए, I'm giving you last thirty seconds, everyone. Last thirty seconds. Quickly join the menti. You need to go on www.menti.com. Use the code one five eight nine one four two. Yes, interesting. Very, very good. Very, very good. Yes, Akash. Everyone, please make sure you hit the like button for the video. Hit the like button for the video. Okay. There's strawberry. I can see. I can see fish. I can see two hats over here. I can see a bunny also. I can see a crab. Santa Claus is there. Then we have a bird. Detective. Frog. Tiger is also here. Then we have a crown. We have a unicorn also. We have a thinking smiley. Okay, everyone. So let's get started. Okay, chali everyone. All the best to all of you. We'll be taking a look at the twenty question, and we are starting with the first question. Yes. So I'm starting from the ten. Everyone, the countdown. I'm starting from the ten. Yes, ten, 
नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू एंड वन ऑल द बेस्ट एवरी वन लेट टेक लुक एट दी क्वेश्चन नंबर वन here we have question 1 everyone on our screen the aroma of you uh, of the food comes from the kitchen because of what osmosis diffusion active transport or none of the following very very interesting question everyone we're talking about the aroma of the food right it act when it comes from the kitchen it's because of which of these processes that we have over here is it because of osmosis diffusion active transport or none of the above tell me everyone Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. You would have seen my hand. Yes. Okay. Very good, everyone. Very good. Yes. The correct answer over here is option number B. That is diffusion. Very good. Diffusion is the correct answer. So diffusion is a process we know that where the molecules will move from the higher concentration to the lower concentration. in osmosis we don't need a membrane we don't need a membrane clear yes we don't need a membrane so the correct answer over here is the diffusion can you name one more example of this we have one more example we have in our textbook if you drop a ink in a glass of water that is also the diffusion very good 51 of you have voted for the correct answer I can see that few of you have the confusion over here, right? In the osmosis and active transport. But in active transport, what will happen? The molecules will be moving from the lower concentration to the higher concentration, and there will be the requirement of the energy, right? In active transport, ATP will be used. And in osmosis, we always talk about the water. We always talk about that the movement is happening from the higher concentration to the lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. Yes, are we clear, everyone? चलिए ओके मूविंग टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 एवरीवन एक्सप्लेन द डिफ्यूजन बच्चे डिफ्यूजन इज अ प्रोसेस वेयर द मॉलिक्यूल्स विल मूव फ्रॉम द हायर कंसंट्रेशन टू द लोअर कंसंट्रेशन वी यूजुअली सी दिस हैपनिंग इन अ लिक्विड एंड द गैसेस अविनाश नो वी डोंट हैव बच्चे ओके एवरीवन चलिए क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 ऑन आवर स्क्रीन क्वेश्चन टू एवरीवन ऑन आवर स्क्रीन एंड लेट्स टेक अ लुक ओवर हियर इफ in a tall tree in a tall tree which force is responsible for pulling water and minerals from the soil easy peasy question everyone anushka you need to go on www.menti.com use the code 1589142 in a tall tree which force is is responsible for pulling water and minerals from the soil yes everyone Forty-four of you have voted for the correct answer, and I can see there was a confusion uh, in two of the options: transportation force and the suction force. The question is very straightforward, everyone. They're talking that in a tall tree, if there's a very tall tree, right, which force is responsible for pulling the water and minerals from the soil, and that is a suction force. We know that transpiration will be happening. There will be the loss of the water in the form of water vapors, right? and we know that roots are the one that takes up the soil uh, that takes up the water and minerals from the soil okay so they will be pulling the water and of course xylem will be carrying it right and of course it will be going so suction force will be the correct answer right those of you have voted for the transportation force which we don't have a such name in biology okay miss click it's okay but now you know the answer akash now you know the answer So forty-four of you have voted for the correct answer. Let's move everyone to the question number three. Let's read the question carefully. Let's take a look at the question number three. Which of the following statement is or are incorrect? Read the statements carefully. The stored energy of food is released slowly during the process of respiration, which takes place inside our body. Respiration is essential because it provides us the energy from the food which we eat and digest. It is only for the human beings who need energy. None of the above. Which of the following statement is not incorrect? Which of these is incorrect? And we're talking about the respiration. Very good. I can see some correct answer in the comment section. Very good, everyone. Let's see if all of you have voted for the majority of the correct answer. Very good. Option number C is incorrect. 
The, uh, the other point talks about the respiration. The third point was that the respiration only happens in human being. So that's definitely not the correct answer, everyone, right? If we take a look over here, statement one, they stored, the stored energy of the food is released during, right, slowly during the process of respiration. We know that. Yes, very good, very good, right? Option number B is also correct that respiration is essential because it provides us the energy from the food which we eat and digest. Option number C is incorrect, right? It, it is only in human beings. No, it's there in the plants and the animals also. So, option number D and then option number, of course, none of the above cannot be the option. So, we hear everyone, option number C is the correct answer. I hope that all of you got this question. Three out of three, very good and very proud of you. See, you all are doing amazingly well. Let's take a look everyone at question number 4. Here we go. After question number 5, we will have the leaderboard now. Okay. The muscular tube which, through which stored urine is passed out of the body is called as what? We're talking about a muscular tube which, is, which stores the urine uh, and which basically help in the passing out of it. Kidney, ureter, urethra and bladder. Yes, very good everyone. 51 of you have voted for the correct answer and the correct answer over here is urethra. So we know that there's a muscular tube. There's a muscular tube, right, that actually allow uh, the passing of the urine through it and that is the urethra. Kidneys are the place where the urine is being made, right? Then ureter is attached to the kidney and it will be carrying the urine to the urinary bladder, right? And the bladder will be holding the urine until it is passed from the body and it, it is passed through the muscular tube called as the urethra. So are we clear? Four out of four. Awesome, awesome. And I feel that majority of the option C are uh, the correct answer over here. Okay. Question number five, everyone on our, uh, on our screen. A plant which reproduces by spores is, in which of these plants we'll see the reproduction happening through the spores. Rose, fern, potato and ginger. Spores. You're talking about the spores, everyone. I'm sure you have you have studied about the spores. Yes. Muhammad Dullah, but you need to go on www.menti.com. Agarab, if you see in the chat, right, you'll be able to see a, a, the comment is pinned over here. Click on that. There's a link of where you need to go. That is www.menti.com and the code is also there. Code is 1589142. Chali. Very good. The plant which reproduced by spores is fern. Absolutely correct, everyone. Fern is the correct answer. And 73 of you have voted for the correct answer. So if you talk about the fern, right, they, they have. See, of course, we know that we have different types of reproduction, right? We have uh, asexual reproduction and then we have sexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction, of course, is involvement of the two parents. In asexual reproduction, it's just involvement of one single parent, right? Yes. And spores over here, the spores, right? are made by the plant itself, okay? And the example that we have over here is of the fern. Rose, potato and ginger are not the examples over here. Yes, okay. Everyone, let's take a look at the leaderboard now. Here we have the leaderboard. Okay. Before we just refresh your page or come back once again. Here we have everyone, uh, the leaderboard. Fastness is Chavi. Then we have Vanshika, seventh grader in riddles. Nancy, then we have Ankita, Devnath, we have Anshuman, 7th grade, Vaishnavi, Ananya, right, we have Wonderful, Shashwat, we have Hiba Fatima, Pingu, Akash, no, you will not lose, and Chavi. Congratulations, everyone. So, how's the confidence level? 5 out of 5. Yes, it's okay. We are just finished 5 questions. We have 15 more to go, so you are here at the right time. Good evening, everyone. I can see so many of you joining now. I hope that all of you have hit the like button for the video. Yes, Avinash, I know that. It is that, you know what happens in the, this political platform and mentee, that the faster you vote, the more points you will get. Okay? Chali, very good. Okay, moving to the question number six, everyone, on our screen. Question number six on our screen, and let's take a look, everyone, over here. Yes, awesome. 
Asexual reproduction takes place through budding in. Rose, fern, yeast or spirogera? Again, a very easy question, everyone. In asexual reproduction, there's involvement of one single parent and from there, of course, there's no fertilization happening and we will see the formation of the next generation. Asexual reproduction takes place through budding. Budding is a type of asexual reproduction. It happens in which of these organisms that we have over here? Happens in rose, ferns, yeast or spirogera. The question is very easy. Very good, very good everyone. And the correct answer over here is option number C, yeast. Spores, ferns, cut off cause. Are it 10 of you? I think 10 of you have voted for the ferns. Are it last question was that, that they, they reproduce by these spores. Rose, of course, has flower. So no, it, it cannot. We don't have the asexual reproduction over here. Right? Of course, we do uh, do some methods are there, grafting and other things where there's involvement of the human. Okay? Then, of course, spirogera. Spirogera are reproduced by the fragmentation. Okay? Yes, the correct answer over here is everyone, yeast. So what happens initially, we have the yeast, right, with the nucleus. Slowly, slowly it will develop, right, the nucleus will divide and the cytoplasm will divide and ultimately we'll see the bird formation. Clear? Good. So that's the answer everyone. Moving to the question number seven. It's okay. But do I get, I can see that many of you are saying, ma'am, it was a misclick. Read the question carefully and then click on the correct answer. Digestion of food starts in which part of our digestive system? Stomach, small intestine, liver or none of the above. Now we all have studied about the digestive system, right? We know that the digestion is a process and by which of course there is a breakdown of the food. So the question is, in which of these parts, right, the digestion actually starts? If, is it, uh, does it start in stomach, small intestine, liver or none of the above? Yes, digestion of food starts in which part? Start word is very, very important everyone. I can see two extreme answer, but unfortunately, the correct answer, right, not many of you have voted for it. See, stomach may, we feel that, yeah, yeah, stomach is the, stomach is the one which is in this particular three options. Stomach is the one who will be receiving it first. But, but, show, we know that in the mouth, right, in a mouth only, the digestion starts, right, because of, the salivary glands that we have over here, salivary glands, yes, you remember? Salivary glands produce what? Salivary glands produce an enzyme. Yes, an enzyme which is the salivary amylase. I'm sure all of you remember this. We have an enzyme which is called a salivary amylase that actually help in the, in the break down of can you tell me in the breakdown of the carbohydrate? Okay. Clear everyone? So that is the correct answer over here. Not option A, but option number D is correct. Charlie, everyone, are we clear? Are we clear? Charlie, moving to that hurts, right? I know. <laughs> okay, next question, everyone. Question number eight on our screen. Here we go to the question number eight. Yes, hello Anushka, welcome to the class. Leaves are the food factories of a plant. But how does cactus desert plant carry out photosynthesis? By roots, spines, stems or green leaves. So we know that leaves plays a very important role in the process of photosynthesis. Right? Okay, yes, Purvi, I will give you time. Right, we know that leaves are the food factory of the plant. But in a case of a desert plant like cactus, where we will see the photosynthesis happening. It's a very easy question, everyone. Does it happen in the roots? Does it happen in the spines or in the stem or in the green leaves? Okay, I can see. Hmm. I can see some confusion over here. See, I'm sure all of you have seen the cactus. They have a flat head, right? They have a flat surface. This flat surface is nothing but the stem. Right on in this stem only we have spines, chotu chotu are spines. These spines are nothing but the modification of leaves. So the leaves have modified themselves into, into the spines and stem plays a role of food factory. Okay everyone, clear? So 40 of you are absolutely correct. Yes, 40 of you are absolutely correct. 49 of you have voted for the incorrect answer. 
So nevertheless, everyone, I hope that you got the answer. Bata do, aa gaya na? It's okay, Akash. Misclick tha. I can see Harshita is also crying. Harshit, Harshita, math problem. Very good, Avinash. Yes, Ashia. Yes, moe moe ho gaya yahan pe. I know, na, this question was there. Awesome. Very good, Anushka. Are, bhai, if I don't speak, then you will be speaking. Aap aare ho ke yahan pe baat karne ke liye. Chali, moving to the question number nine, everyone. Giving you time to write your name. Giving you some time to write your name. Now we'll be taking a look at the question number nine. I can see so many of you are here in the class, everyone. Please make sure you hit the like button for the video. Okay, chali. Question number nine, everyone, on our screen. Okay. About mosquito, which of the following statement is incorrect? So, about the mosquito, which of the following statement is incorrect? It can be considered as omnivorous. The adult female feeds on bird blood supply of proteins for egg. The larva of mosquito feeds on microorganism or none of the above. Which about the mosquito, which of the statement is correct? But this question is number 9. It's just the mistake over here. This question is 9, not 8. I can see the correct answer. Are Kya bhai? What is the uh, confusion that we have over here? The question is, we have three statements, right? And we have to find out which of these three statements is incorrect. Right? All is incorrect. Which of the following statement is incorrect? So, of course, I'm really sorry for the confusion over here. Yes. We know that it cannot be considered as omnivorous. It is definitely incorrect. The, uh, the adult female feeds on the blood supply for the protein. No, it's incorrect. Right, the larva of the mosquitoes feeds on the feeds on the organism. Yes, it is also incorrect. Yes, the correct option over here is that none of the above is correct answer. None of the above. Right? Of course, which of the following is statement is incorrect? All. Basically, the mistakes is the mistake that we have over here is that it should be all of the above. But of course, 19 of you have voted for the correct answer. Unfortunately, Akash, you will not be able to get points, but I don't have the control over here. So I'm really sorry for this. Chalye. Okay. Okay. Moving to the next question, everyone. Question number 10. Let's take a look over here. Question number 10. Let's take a look. Halfway through into the quiz, everyone. Pitcher plants trap insect because it. It is heterotroph. Grows in soil which lacks in nutri uh, nitrogen, does not have chlorophyll, has a digestive system like human beings. Pitcher plant traps insects because of what? Is it a heterotroph or it grows in a soil which lacks nitrogen? So it, for the requirement of the nitrogen, it is eating the insect or does not have a chlorophyll or has a digestive system like human beings. What will be the correct answer, everyone? <coughs> Very good. 63 of you have voted for the correct answer. The correct answer over here is option B. We know that the pitcher plant, right? The pitcher plant, right? They grow in a soil which lacks nitrogen. So, to fulfill the demand of the nitrogen for their body, they trap insects. And pitcher plant, right? Uh, they are called as a insectivorous plants. Very good. 63 of you have voted for the correct answer. So, with this, everyone, we are done with 10 questions. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Second leaderboard, everyone. Okay, let's see. Fastest is Devendra. Then we have Vanshika, Fatima, Raj, Pushottam. We have Nancy, Akash, Apeksha, Dev, uh, Devendra, Piyush, and Dakshi. Very good, everyone. Very good. So now you tell me, everyone, what is your score? How many of you got 10 out of 10? Yes, everyone. How many of you got 10 out of 10? Don't give up on Menti. I know it's here and there. Thoda sa issue hai, but don't give up on it. It's a good platform. And of course, it's a good quiz. 
So what you can do if you don't want to participate on the mentee, be there in the YouTube and still be in the class. Ha, huh, full button net issues, 10 out of 6, 8 out of 10. Okay, 2 out of 10, it's okay, I think you joined the class late. Nice, 9 out of 10, 7 out of 10, very good, Ajanya, Sahil, Kuldeep, Akarsh is saying 8, Ishita, no issues, welcome, Salish, okay, chali everyone. Moving to the next set of 5 questions everyone, question number 11 on our screen, question number 11 on our screen and here we go. Question number 11, which of the following is not prepared from the wood obtained from forest? Easy peasy question everyone. Paper, thermocol, matchstick and plywood. Which of these is not? You have to focus on the word not. Is me se kya actually nahi banta jo lakdi aati hai forest se? Right? The options are paper, thermocol, matchstick and plywood. Easy question everyone. Very very easy question. It's okay if you have joined uh, late. No worry. Okay, everyone, very good, very good. And the correct answer over here is option number B, thermocol. The thermocol, of course, is not made from the wood which we get from the forest. Chalye, very good, everyone. 78 of you have voted for the correct answer. Who are these ultra pro legends that we have in the class? Right, tell me. Are paper to banta? We all know that paper is made from the wood. Yes, and then, of course, we have plywood. Bhai, kaun hai yaha pe? Ultra pro legend. I, I hope that it's a misclick. Okay. Chali everyone. Question number 12 on our screen. Let's take a look over here. Yes. Which type of organisms always occur at a first step at every food chain? Heterotrophs, autotrophs, haptotrophs or the scavengers? Yes, everyone, I hope that all of you have voted. Very good. So we all know that in a food chain, right, the food, in a, any of the food chain, we will have the autotrophs. The plants will be there. The one autotrophs, and we have the one example of plants, right? We know that they can actually make their own food. Right, we know that they can make their own food and those organisms who can make their own food are called as the autotrophs. So in a, any of the food chain, we will have those organisms that are capable of making their own food. Yes, heterotrophs are us. We depend upon the other organisms, right? Then we have saprotrophs. These are the organisms that eat on dead and decay organisms like fungi. Scavengers may we have those animals which feed on the meat of the dead animals like vulture like hyena okay so we were now we clear with this are one a b c d all kaise ho sakta answer please stop spamming we'll let you know bachche kundan will let you know when we have the class 8th are we clear good good very good chaliye moving to the next question everyone no moving to the next question question number 13 on our screen here we go everyone question number 13 I know that all of you are very excited. You want to be a, have a rapid fire. So let's take a look everyone at this particular question. About photosynthesis, which of the following statement is or are incorrect? The solar energy is captured by the leaves and stored in a form of food. Later on, carbohydrates ultimately get converted into chlorophyll. The synthesis, the synthesis prepare of food occurs in presence of the only sunlight. And it is a process. In this process, solar energy is converted into the chemical energy. Which of the following statement is incorrect, everyone? Which of the following statement is incorrect? We have to find the answer for that. Ha, I think some of you were asking me, thermocol is the plastic. Right? Very, uh, of course, it's not the plastic, plastic that we see around us. Definitely a form of plastic only. Okay? Very good, everyone. Quickly vote for the correct answer. Which of the following is incorrect? Very good, very good, everyone. Option number B is correct. 
right let's take a look at the option so first we know that the solar energy is captured by the leaves and stored in the form of food yes we know that this is there's a capturing of it and of course then how the process will get started later on the carbohydrates ultimately get converted into the chlorophyll no right it's the not it's not the correct answer we know that the glucose is ultimately converted into and stored in the form of starch very good so this is incorrect the synthesis prepare of the food right occurs in the presence of the sunlight only yes that is the reason we call it as photosynthesis and option d is that in this process solar energy is converted into the chemical energy yes it's absolutely correct very good everyone so the correct answer over here is option number b which is incorrect are we clear i know that few of you got confused between a and b yes ha yes everyone are we clear with this okay chali nahi akash if you look at the option right they just saying food of course banta to hai na solar energy is getting converted into the chemical energy and after the reaction we'll see the synthesis of glucose so that's correct okay question number 14 everyone on our screen i'll give you time to write your name after question number 15 which of the following part of a plant takes part in the sexual reproduction flower and seed flower seed and fruit fruit and branch seed fruit and branch which of the following parts of a of a plant right takes part part in the sexual reproduction or we can say what are the products of it also right what are the products of the sexual reproduction one of course definitely a part of it and of course we have the products of it also yes everyone take a look over here see i can see that many of you will get confused in option number a and b but of course we have the correct answer we just have one correct answer very good everyone option number b is correct which of the following part of the plant takes pl uh, basically in the participation of the sexual reproduction is a flower right and after the flower we will see the formation of the after the uh, after the fertilization we'll see the formation of zygote right that zygote will be changing will be uh, you know moving ahead then of course we'll see the fertilization process happening and then we'll see the formation of seed and the fruit easy peasy thank you nancy thank you so much very good everyone okay question number 15 everyone question number 15 let's take a look over here yes brem yes please ha sun liye bhaiye sun liye bachcha aapke brem right the answer was b okay which of the following is not a function of the forest maintenance of water cycle bringing sufficient rain preventing flash flood or causing soil erosion which of this is not a function isme se kya function aisa hai jo forest nahi karta we know that forest plays a very important role in helping and maintaining the water cycle providing the sufficient amount of sufficient amount of rain and prevent the flash of flood the correct answer over here is the causing soil erosion we know that the forest actually prevent the soil erosion if on a piece of land right if we have no trees what will happen the top layer of the soil right the top layer of the soil which is very fertile we will be losing it either by the wind or by the water it will be easily moved away okay yes very good so here we have the correct answer right that's option number d 64 of you have voted for the correct answer now we want let's take a look at the leaderboard and then we'll see the the final leaderboard ha bachche akash if you'll take a look over here convert into the food but it converts to the chemical energy but among those option right it is clearly mentioned that it is storing also so it is correct it's not correct right it's not that it is is completely incorrect okay yes here we have the leaderboard everyone we have the new entries in the leaderboard rashika is there the fastest one then they have then we have vanshika raj pushottam dakshish then we have akash nancy apeksha piyush rashika and we have devendra good congratulations everyone congratulations how is the josh everyone see half an hour into the session and we have fin finished of 15 questions 
Now we have five more questions, everyone. Are you ready for the final five questions? And are you ready for the final rapid fire? Yes? Anushka, it's okay. Okay, I thank you for sharing your, sharing your ranks, everyone over here. And I hope that out of 15, all of you have a good score. Or if you just, just in case, if you, are, if you were not clear about the few answers, but after watching this session or being a part of this session, I hope that those answers are perfectly fine. Yes. Okay. Very good, everyone. Shall you moving to the question number 16, everyone? And here we go. Last final five questions. Rapid fire, everyone. Please make sure you hit the like button for the video. Yes. Yeast is used in wine and beer industries because it's, it's respire, uh, uh, aerobically producing oxygen, aerobically producing alcohol, uh, anaerobically producing alcohol or anaerobically producing CO2. Read the options carefully. We have two types of respiration. Aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Yeast produce, right? Uh, yeast is used in, in the production of the wine and the beer. So it gives the alcohol. It's alcohol, only the beer and the wine. Yeast is used in wine and the beer industries because it, it's respire. We know that one thing for sure, yes, that it does not respire anaerobically. We have two types of respiration, everyone. First, of course, we have aerobic respiration. We know that aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen. Oxygen needs to be there, right? Then we have another type of respiration, which is called as anaerobic respiration, right? Now, in the anaerobic respiration, oxygen is not present, okay? And yeast use this particular process of anaerobic respiration where it produces the alcohol. Very good, everyone. So, that's a correct answer. Okay. Moving to the question number 17 on our screen. Here, everyone, please take a uh, look at the question, read this, and then based upon this, we will be answering our next question. Priyanka took a de-starch potted plant and set it up. Experiment as we have in the figure. So we can see a potted plant, right? And we can see one leaf is being added into a beaker. The beaker has KOH, right? And there are two important substances they have marked, X and Y. After a few hours, right? After keeping this, right? Uh, for the de-starch, yes? What happened? We have to see... We have to basically check the presence of the starch. Yes? Right? So what they are saying, after, after the experiment, right, leaf X. Leaf X, which is there inside the beaker, does not give starch test while performing. Uh, this shows the presence. So everyone, let's take a look at the question number 17. And based upon that, you have to answer. Hi, I am giving you the options. Yes, everyone, over here. So, what is proved by the following experiment? Chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis or carbohydrate is necessary for photosynthesis or light is necessary for photosynthesis or oxygen is given out during the photosynthesis. Everyone, the hint over here is the KOH. KOH is a very important hint that we have over here. So, we have a potted plant. We have put it in the dhoop. We Right? And then we have, we checked, leaf X does not give starch, right? Yes, leaf X does not give the, give the starch, whereas Y give the, uh, the starch. So, from this particular experiment, what we can understand? We can understand that presence of carbon dioxide is super, super important. Why, everyone, carbon dioxide is important? Because in the experiment over here, we can see that we have KOH. So even though the photosynthesis was happening over here, KOH was taking all the CO2. Clear? And hence, over here, right, in X, is does not, it, this, we did the start test, right? It shows no presence of starch. Everyone, are we correct? Are we clear, everyone? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no, everyone? This was a very difficult question. I hope that all of you are clear with this now. Moi moi ho gaya, haan. 
Okay. Moving to the next question, everyone. Okay, question number 18, everyone. Q, last two, three questions. How many premolar teeth are found in mouth? Okay, how many teeth we have in the mouth? Premolars we are talking. Premolars. Right? Premolars, everyone. Two, four, six, eight. Very good, everyone. Very good. Yes. Awesome. How many premolars teeth are found in our mouth? So we have canines, we have incisors, we have molars and we have premolars. Right? We have premolars. Okay. Now how many premolars teeth are found in our mouth? So they are talking about the whole number. So everyone if you talk, if you take a look over here at the back right, we have two on each side. Two here, right? Two on the right side. Two on the lower jaw and two on the upper jaw all together. So total will be eight. Clear? KOAH is the potassium hydroxide. It plays a very important role in the absorption. That is the reason we use it in the various experiments. It absorbs the carbon dioxide. Chalye. Very good everyone. Moving to the next question. Here we have question number 19 everyone on your screen. On your screen everyone. Here is the question. Here we have the question. Read the following statement about the photosynthesis. Sunlight, carbon dioxide, chlorophyll and water are necessary. Oxygen is absorbed. Leaves carry out photosynthesis. Right? And proteins are made up of photosynthesis. Very interesting question everyone. Yes, everyone, please pick the correct answer. Okay, everyone have voted. Let's take a look, everyone, what is what will be the correct answer. Super proud of you, 73 of you have voted for the correct answer. And the correct answer over here is option number B. Let's take a look, everyone, over here. We have to choose the pair which is correct, true about the photosynthesis. So we know that Sunlight, carbon dioxide, chlorophyll and water are necessary. Absolutely correct. Yes. Then, oxygen is absorbed. We know it is released, right? Oxygen carries out photosynthesis. Sorry, leaves carry out photosynthesis. Yes. And proteins are made up of the photosynthesis. No. Very good, everyone. So, we know the correct answer as all of you have voted for it. Yes. One and three are correct. Second and fourth was incorrect. Okay. Very good, everyone. Very, very good. Moving to the last question, everyone, of our class today. Yes, question number 20, everyone, on our screen. Let's take a look over here. Last question. We have to match the following, everyone. We have column 1 and column, uh, column A and column B. Column A may we have autotrophs, heterotrophs, parasites, saprotrophs, symbiotic, and insectivorous. In column B, we have fungi, lichen, pitcher plant, algae, man, and cuscuta. If you know, even if you know one correct answer, you will be able to find the option, the correct option. Purvi noted your point, Vache. Yes, we will. There are few chapters which are being covered in SST. There are a few which are pending, so we will cover those. Very good, Mansi. Very good. Very good. It's all your hard work, Bache. Okay. Two and one, everyone. Time's up. Time's up. 38 of you have voted for the correct answer. Not majority of you got confused. 22 of you and 20 and 5 of you have voted for the different option. Let's take a look, everyone, over here. So, we have to match, right? Autotrophs. Autotrophs are the one that can make their own food, right? So, if you have confusion between this, we can pick the correct answer. But the easiest thing, everyone, the easiest thing for us to find out is a pitcher plant. We all know that among these, we just have insectivorous plant, which is a pitcher plant. Okay? 
Then we have symbiotic association we see in the lichens where the combination of algae and fungi. Then we have saprotrops, right, which eats on dead and decay animal, that is fungi over here. Then we have parasite, cuscuta. Then we have heterotrops, man, and autotrops, algae. So that's a correct answer over here, everyone. With this, everyone, we are done with our today's quiz of class 7th biology. Let's take a look at the final leaderboard. Yes, everyone. Here we go, everyone. Here we have the final leaderboard. Fastest is Ronaldo. Then we have Vanshika. We have Raj. Rashika. We have Pushottam. We have... I am really sorry. I can't see that name. Yes. Uh, we have then Dakshesh. We have Rhea. We have Ronaldo, Tez and Viveka. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. Very good. Congratulations to all of you. Apeksha, yes, the name which was not visible was Apeksha's. Apeksha is there on, uh, yes, fourth position. Okay, congratulations everyone, congratulations. How are you feeling? What is your score, 20 out of 20? How many of you got 20 out of 20? Awesome everyone. So good that you came to the class and I hope that all of you enjoyed the quiz. Everyone, please make sure you hit the like button for the video. And everyone, please make sure you go and explore our Baiju's, the learning app, right? Go and download the app, everyone. You will be amazed to see the revision uh, content that we have. And we have so many questions for your practice. So please make sure you download the Baiju's app and see through it. We have NCRT solutions also, which is there on the Baiju's, Baiju's website. Go and search for it. The link is in the description box. Chali. Okay. With this, everyone, I'll be saying bye-bye to you. Thank you, everyone, for joining into the class. Whereas we always, always say that we have got you covered, everyone. Yes. So we'll be meeting really very soon, everyone. Till that time, do take care of yourself and keep on learning with Akash. Bhai. With bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.